Thank you, Kate. Also new at 6, we're learning of another arrest stemming from an ever-widening animal cruelty investigation. We're told this latest arrest is one of several cases the RISPCA began investigating after finding animals living in squalid conditions in a Smithfield home earlier this year. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lasciuto is live from the Mobile Newsroom with the new developments. Mike, this has been unfolding for months now, and authorities say a search warrant that allowed them to go through text messages and different social media accounts led them to this new suspect. He's being accused of allowing illegal procedures to happen at a local car wash. Our cameras were there as authorities found several animals in what they described as disgusting and squalid conditions at a Smithfield home back in March. The RISPCA tells us that discovery led to a months long investigation involving additional animal cruelty cases, eventually bringing this man in front of a judge. The allegations are that he conspired to commit um, the offense of practicing veterinary medicine and conspired to commit the uh, an act of animal cruelty. Daniel Guerrero turned himself into police back in June for allegedly allowing a man to illegally clip dog ears at a North Providence car wash. Warzika says it's a procedure that only licensed professionals can practice. Kayla Card of North Providence is also accused of being involved. Eventually they'll all be on the same calendar. You may remember that name. We previously reported on a case also involving clipping at a East Providence car wash. The RISPCA confirms they are all connected. They're, they're all acquaintances. They all know each other. Um, it's it's been very interesting uh, digging into this world of the, you know these bully breeds and, and this everyone's connected in some fashion it seems. Guerrero was released today on personal recognizance. The other two suspects involved in this case are expected to face a judge next week. Reporting live tonight, I'm Sheena Lusciuto, Eyewitness News. There is.